Hello students, myself Dr. Saraswati, teaching Zoology in the uh, Department of Zoology and Jamshedpur Cooperative College. To know me well, <coughs> as your fifth sem exam will start just after when lockdown will be over and you will not get much time in between your fifth sem and sixth sem uh, exams. So, I'd like to discuss some topics under C Zoology 14 of same 6, which includes medical zoology that has been allotted to me by the department. So from now onwards, I will teach you some chapters of medical zoology. I'll start and then I'll proceed. Okay. So first of all, what is medical zoology? It will deal with the parasites, different diseases, their symptoms, their mode of transmission, pathogenicity, prophylaxis, that is prevention and control and all those things. First of all, I will teach you Leishmania donovani. You are much aware about it. You know that Leishmania donovani is a parasitic protozoan and it causes kala jor or dum dum disease or miserable Leishmaniasis in human beings. It belongs to the phylum protozoa, bears flagellum, so subphylum plasmodroma and class mastigophora. It was first discovered independently by Lishman from London in May 1903 and by Donovan from Madras in July, in July 1903. That is why the name Lishmania Donovan after their name. It is a digenetic parasite that is completes its life cycle in two hosts. First one is the primary or definitive host which is man and in some cases dogs and other cattle. Second is secondary host or vector or carrier which is sand fly, phlebotomus. It transmits the parasite from man to man. Now the structure. Now see the diagram. Structure. Lismania donovani exists in two forms. First is the amastigot or lishmanial form which lacks flagellum. There is no flagellum. It is almost oval in shape. There is no flagellum. And the second one is promastigot or leptomonad form which bears flagellum. Amastigot or lishmanial form which is oval in shape and without flagellum and it is found in man. Whereas promastigot form or leptomonad form is elongated, bears a flagellum and is found in sand fly that is phlebotomus. Now life cycle. Here is the life cycle. Life cycle of the parasite. First of all, we will discuss about the life cycle of the parasite in the vector that is sand fly. This part is for sand fly and this is for man. This part of the, uh, the uh, this part of life cycle of this parasite, it is spent in sand fly or phlebotomus and this part in man. So first life cycle in the vector. When the female sand fly uh, sucks the blood of an infant bites a person and sucks the blood of an infected person that is the person suffering from kala jar the lishmanian forms reach its midgut midgut of that fly changes into leptomonoid form it gets converted into leptomonoid form <coughs> and divide rapidly by repeated binary fission it is binary fission it will divide into two it will form two at a time two parasites at a time and divide repeatedly by repeated binary fission. <coughs> Thus a number of leptomonad forms are formed which reach buccal cavity, buccal cavity of the sand fly. The life cycle of Lisbania donovani is completed in about seven to eight days in sand fly. The leptomonad or promastigot forms are the infective stages. Leptomonad forms are the infective stages, this one. Now, if this sand fly bites a healthy person, it the uh, promastigot or leptomonad form enters his body. Now, mode of transmission. When a sand fly containing leptomonad forms in its saliva bites a healthy person, the leptomonad forms reach the <coughs> human reticuloendothelial system. There, they convert into Lishmanian form. They get converted into Lishmanian form and multiply rapidly by repeated binary fission. As a result, the cells of reticuloendothelial system get overloaded with the parasite and rupture. They again attack fresh cells and the cycle is repeated. Now 
the symptoms start appearing and now they are ready for transmission to another to sand fly and then to another person now incubation period the period between the fly bite and the introduction that is the introduction of the parasites into the human blood and the first appearance of the symptoms of the disease is known as incubation period so then the symptoms will appear so clinical features or symptoms the disease is characterized by fever anemia enlargement of liver and spleen enlargement of liver and spleen and loss of body weight the skin becomes dry black and pigmented due to black color of the skin with fever the disease is known as kala jar k a l a hyphen a hyphen z a r now diagnosis the disease was confirmed by the sorry the disease is confirmed by first the presence of amastigot forms in the peripheral blood counting the number of leukocytes second one is counting the number of leukocytes and third one the is the presence of amastigot form in the biopsy materials obtained from liver spleen lymph nodes and bone marrow now treatment the patient of kalazer is treated with antimony compounds prophylaxis or prevention that is prevention and control how we can control it so for controlling this disease we have to control the vector the carrier that is sand fly the vector that is the sand flies are <coughs> eradicated or destroyed how by spraying 5% ddt or bhc over cow dung deposits and bushy areas in, uh, it is effective in controlling the sand fly cow shed should be kept far away from the bedrooms building houses on high grounds and screening of doors windows and ventilators are also good preventive measures so that is all about leishmania donovan okay see you